Hey everybody, I'm Ryan McCaffrey with IGN, and Bungie, the original creators of Halo, have finally taken the lid off what they've been working on for the last few years and will continue to be working on for the next 10 plus years. It is their new universe called Destiny. It is a science fiction, they call it a mythic science fiction universe. First person shooter, always connected. You will always, you know, you can play by yourself, you can play with your friends. There's a lot of interesting ideas. Uh, sort of MMO-ish, not going to require a subscription fee. We've got a lot more details on IGN, but this game is coming for Xbox 360, for PlayStation 3, and for future generation technologies. So take with that what you will. Uh, now, we want to be clear up front, Bungie has not released any official screenshots from the game yet, but we do have a good pile of concept art images that give you an idea of the look and feel of the game that they're going for. So we want to mine each one. We're going to look at each one in detail here and see what we can learn about the game. Let's take a look. The first image is titled Cassini Derelict. Now I'm guessing Cassini uh, might be the, either the name of a human faction or possibly uh, the name of the ship. Uh, Bungie would not confirm either, but what we do obviously have going on here is it's the derelict remains of a human fleet of ships in orbit around the rings of Saturn. So that's what we know for sure is going on here. So file the name Cassini, C-A-S-S-I-N-I, -S -S -I -I, away in your brains. It's going to come back up with Destiny at some point in the not-too-distant future, I'm sure. The second piece of concept art here is titled Citadel, for obvious reasons. We have a very, very large structure in the background, which Bungie describes only this way, quote, bad guys need big, bad, evil layers. So uh, some shenanigans are afoot in this structure, no doubt. Here in the foreground, you see a couple things. You see uh, guardians, that's your human heroes, fighting with uh, those, those enemies in the back. If you look at the bottom center of the image here, those are Vex, which we'll get to a, a little bit more, but that, those are one race of enemies, one faction of enemies in the game. And obviously uh, we are not on Earth here, we're somewhere off in the galaxy. A lot of vegetation, a lot of uh, atmospheric cool stuff going on with the storms up above, but we do know that uh, this is a big time bad guy area. Next piece of concept art is titled Dark Patrol, and here we have a mixture of bad guys. Uh, and one good guy. So the good guy is in the foreground on the very left. That is a hunter class in Destiny. We know there will be at least three classes, which we'll cover here in just a few minutes and with one of the other pieces of concept art. That is the hunter on the left with the large sniper rifle looking weapon. And then we also have uh, the Cabal, which is a, described as a large rhinoceros-like looking enemy race. That's, that's the big one in sort of the middle, uh, just off-center to the right. And then also uh, the Fallen, another enemy faction. Those are uh, the other two enemies standing in front of that Cabal there. So a few different things going on in this one. The next piece of concept art titled Exclusion Zone. This takes place on Mars. This is a scene from Mars, which you will be able to travel to in the game. And uh, d somewhere on Mars, we were, we were described an in, in, uh, incident in the Dust Palace where you could adventure to and it'd be sort of a dungeon-like raid type experience. But uh, this, the exclusion zone, this is, you can see these banners here are for the Cabal, who we mentioned a minute ago, the large, very big sort of rhinoceros type uh, enemy faction. That's their banners, but uh, the humans are also f vying for control of this as well. Um, you'll notice this throughout the game. There's a mix. You might see mixes of, of human and other things as, as the two sides sort of war over control for, of the space. Next piece of concept art titled Fallen. If you have been keeping an eye on all things Destiny on IGN, you may remember this one. This was, this was leaked and then sort of uh, officially put out by Bungie. This is uh, showing the Fallen, which I mentioned a minute ago, they are one of the enemy factions. They're not a player faction. And in the background there, that, that very cool looking vehicle is sort of uh, colloquially mentioned as a spider tank, which you kind of get the idea of based on the, the multiple legs, that uh, there's a giant cannon on top of it. You've got uh, obviously a pilot in there somewhere, and then at least there's one guy riding the back. Um, these are spider pirates. You can't really see it too well in this image, but these guys actually have a second set of arms. Now, uh, what Bungie mentioned that uh, you want to think about is think about how that might affect combat, like how they might attack you, how they might move around. So the, uh, the spider pirates should prove to be a very interesting enemy to face. 
Fire team is three player characters in the foreground. This is a, obviously a co-op situation going on. Uh, you see magic in action. Destiny has magic. The, uh, the Traveler, which is a sort of protective force we're going to see in an upcoming piece of art, the Traveler is hovering over Earth, uh, sort of the savior of the human race, protected it from, from, from us from uh, being completely obliterated, and now we're able to wield some of the Traveler's power, which Bungie said is basically magic. And you see that happening on the right, uh, that rightmost character. He is a warlock class, so he will be, he will be spinning spells, no doubt, as you can see here. Um, the, on the left, the far left, is a Titan class, which we suspect will be the more beefier, just guns blazing, largest guns possible class, and then a Hunter class, uh, which could involve some stealth aspects there. And you see in the background here, the enemies being fought are what Bungie colloquially refers to as space zombies. The next image is titled Garden, and unfortunately we could not get anything out of Bungie on this. Uh, we are only told that it is a surreal, fantastic place, and that it is, uh, this is called the Black Garden. We weren't, I asked, is this on Earth? They wouldn't say. Is it on another planet? We're not sure, but it is a garden-like structure. You see the, the sort of trench there. We don't know if that heads down to some sort of dungeon or if it's just part of the, part of the planet, but uh, file this one away. I, this one will be one to, to pull back up later and when we have some answers. This image titled Guardians simply shows the three character classes that Bungie initially mentioned. They would not tell me whether or not these are the only three classes launching with the game, if there are more or not, but these are three that they did talk about. From left to right, here we have the Hunter, the Warlock, and the Titan. And one other interesting note about this, in the center with the uh, Warlock, there is a for those of you who are Fantasy Star fans, you'll see a, a very mag-like looking uh, object slash AI buddy hovering over the Warlock's shoulder. Couldn't get any details about that out of Bungie either, but we suspect he'll be some sort of, some sort of combat aid, some sort of buddy in the game. Almost a pet, if you will. Great name on this piece of concept art, Hellmouth. Uh, this is Earth's moon, and if you look in the foreground and are sort of around the, the big opening of the, uh, the deep hole that, that goes down to goodness knows what, you'll see some remnants of either, you'll see architecture and you'll see what could even be remnants of some sort of civilization, like either someone is or was living here. There's sort of an installation uh, towards the middle of, middle to the left of the image, towards the bottom there is sort of the, the seeming remains of, of a civilization. So we don't know whether or not uh, people were living here or worshiping around this as for some sort for some reason. Yeah, just take a look around the edges of this of this piece of concept art and see what you can what you can derive. Next up, titled "Ocean of Storms." This is again on Earth's moon, and you uh, it is it is what Bungie describes as the broken moon. There are cracked tectonic plates. You see. You see bits of moon rock just floating there in the, the background towards uh, where Earth is on the left side of the image. You see an installation in the foreground. This is almost certainly an installation that you'll be able to fight through and, and play through in the game. And then there's sort of a neat ethereal heavenly light uh, from either the sun or some other, some other body there up in the, the top right of the screen. With this next image titled Pike, you're most likely thinking exactly what I was, and that is, that's Destiny's version of Halo's Ghost. It is a, uh, what appears to be single passenger. I did ask if, a, if, if that sort of area behind the driver could fit a second passenger. There sort of, maybe looks like sort of a motorcycle type second seat there, but they would not confirm uh, anything about that. But it, this is definitely a hovering, speeding, uh, you know, one or two person, craft, uh, looks like with some, some guns on the front. So this is definitely very, very reminiscent of Halo's Ghost. Traveler's Rest you may have seen before as well if you followed the uh, IGN coverage when some Destiny stuff leaked late last year. This is the Traveler. This is sort of the central piece of the game. The, the white globe is the Traveler. It is uh, the mysterious force that has saved humanity from total extinction from the the forces of the galaxy that wish to, to see us harmed and, and wiped out. And uh, we were able to somehow harness 
some of the Traveler's power, but here it's, uh, so beneath the Traveler is the last major city on Earth where sort of all the, all the great minds come, come uh, and, and think together and try and uh, come up with all kinds of good stuff. Your home is underneath this as well in the tower, what's called the tower, and you'll, there'll be an area there where you can mingle with friends, you can uh, head off on journeys together on adventures, get in your ship and take off for the stars. But this is the Traveler. Expect to see a whole lot of this. This is sort of the key piece of imagery for Destiny. Finally, this is titled Vex. These are the Vex, these, uh, these creatures you see in this image. They are described only as, quote, time-traveling robots by Bungie. So we don't know when or where they're from, presumably the future. We don't know if this is their home planet. We don't know where this is, but you can see uh, four of them in this image, sort of in the middle of a... Uh, uh, gross yellow orange river of some sort. We don't know if that's fiery or or what. Doesn't quite look like it, but but yes, these are these are definitely bad guys. And they are time traveling robots. Well, that's everything we could glean from the first batch of concept art imagery from Bungie's new game Destiny. Uh, it is definitely not Halo. It aspires to be much much bigger, but still space, still a first person shooter. There'll be a lot of social elements to it. A lot of uh, cooperative play, there'll be competitive play also. We've got a whole lot more on Destiny. Be sure to visit IGN, both now and in the future. This game plans to be around for 10 years. It is Bungie's next big thing. We're going to be uh, on it like there's no tomorrow. So for all things Bungie and all things Destiny, you're already in the right place. IGN. Yeah.